What is the first adjective, label, or descriptor you would use on yourself? And is it exactly the ones you want on your life resume? Well, today we're going to talk about that and how to achieve and actually live that life. Welcome to Life Reimagined with Wendy. I believe we were fortunate to grow up in a unique time in our culture that is helping shape our lives over the age of 45. We are redefining what our lives are like today and pushing the boundaries of what a 45-year-old, a 50-year-old, a 65-year-old, or years young and true adventurer really looks like. Many of us are newly blazing trails and carving out our own purpose-driven path forward. Yep, there have been many unexpected road twists that helped you get here today, but many times these turn out to be blessings. They help you more clearly define what you want. So join me for insights and interviews that show you can face these unexpected challenges and you can come out on the other side stronger and happier. You can make your best days ahead and you can reimagine your next. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about your personal labels. Not the ones that anyone else you need to worry about, but the ones that you know describe you. Think of yourself like a blank slate, a blank canvas, and you have certain adjectives that have followed you through your life so far. I've been very happy with ones that I've been um, associated with. Niece, daughter, auntie, swimmer, college graduate, um, athlete. There are so many different descriptors and labels that I can already add to my name. However, as I got a little older and more seasoned in my professional career, I started to really realize that more of my identity was stuck just with my professional accomplishments. And I wasn't sure that that was for the long haul going to satisfy me. So at the same time, I also found several friends and close family members who were going through certain changes in their life, health, health status changes, job changes, etc. And it really made me question that when I look back on my life, hopefully many, 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 many years from now, what do I want to, what do I plan to look back on? Will I really think about that I made budget that one year or that our revenues were up 20%? Or will I think back to uh, the trip to Iceland with my friends or the time I spent up on the mountains, whether it's playing in the snow or whether it's hiking on the trail? Well, it caused me to a time to pause and really reevaluate and think about what did I want in my life and what labels did I want attached to my name? I knew I had wanted to write a book for a long time, so I knew the author label was one that I was seeking, but I also didn't realize at the time that I wanted to be a snowshoer. I didn't realize that I wanted to be a better mountain biker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you've seen uh, the crashes on my videos, then you know that I still have room to go there. However, long story short, this is the time for you to figure out what labels are important when it comes to how you are described in your mind, your own uh, mental avatar. So do you want to be a gourmet chef? Do you want to be a certified project planner? Do you want a different job or different career? Do you want to be a better auntie? For me, that, was, that meant meaning uh, closer, moving closer to family. So not only was I able to speak with my sister, brother-in-law, nieces by phone, but actually be a part of their lives. And that was much, much more important to me, especially as I'm getting older. So what's the label that you want to add on your list, on your personal life resume? And then not only thinking about it, that's the first step. But I think the tougher step is how you're going to get there. Some labels are going to be quick to achieve, right? Better ante. I'm going to spend more time and that's going to be a month or two and I can quickly add that to my list. However, if you're striving to either, if you have to take a course or professional education or you're starting to learn golf from scratch, it's going to take a little bit longer for you to get that skill either mastered or improved to the level that you would actually label yourself as such. So. 
What critical steps are you taking? What plans are you putting in place to actually realize that dream? So I thought it apropos that um, since I'm really an outdoors person, it was time to move my podcast outdoors anyways. But today was a good opportunity to learn from uh, this place in Keystone. So I knew at one point I wanted to have a place in the mountains. I moved to Colorado and fell in love with everything out here in every season. Snowshoeing, snowboarding, running, cross-country skiing, whatever, biking, road, mountain. I knew I wanted a place out here, but I didn't have a plan in place. So I looked at finances, I restructured a couple of things and made some plans, and 13 months later was able to get a property in the mountains that I can call my own. Now I do rent it out because that's part of my income strategy, but for me that was again, I wanted a label, I wanted this descriptor because I wanted this in my life. And so I had to put the plan in each of these steps I had to go through and carry out to achieve. So today I'm a, I'm a condo owner, love it. I'm spending time up here today and we just got snow. It's the end of May uh, and I love it. So what label and what descriptor are you looking to add on your life resume? So we have our Facebook Destination You community and our Facebook challenge going right now. So this is our challenge for the week. So your call to action is, what are you going to add on your list? What one or two descriptors or adjectives do you want associated with your name? And then what are the key steps you're willing to take and you're going to commit today to take to get there? If you can join us on the, public, on the Facebook and uh, publicly share, that's yet another step towards achieving it. It will make it a, a big step forward in accomplishing your goal. And if you don't join us there, then email it to me at, at info at destination-u.net and check back on the website for more photos and stories and uh, let us know what label you're adding and how you want to project yourself in the world as you go forward and what's in your next chapter.